I wanted to talk today about one of my all-time favorite brands, and that is NARS Cosmetics. I originally was gonna do a top five faves from NARS, like my five favorite products from NARS, and then I realized I couldn't pick just five. I honestly started talking, and I was like, nope, I can't do it. So I've kind of separated them into like my five categories of NARS, and then what my favorite products are in each category. So let's get started. Okay, so being that complexion is the first part of the face that um, you start with, my top NARS products, and actually the products that I use every day on my face um, for complexion are the Oil Free Pro Prime. I love the way this goes on the skin. I don't have really oily skin and I don't have larger pores so this has more of like a lotiony texture and I really love um, the finish that it gives my foundation. I also love it's got a nice fresh smell to it. Um, it's not like overly scented but it smells so good. And then I have the NARS Tinted Moisturizer as well as the Mont Blanc Sheer Glow. So I love the Sheer Glow because you can use it with any single medium of putting it on. A regular foundation brush, a beauty blender, a big, you know, fluffy brush, a brush more like this, anything like that, and it gives the most beautiful finish. And I just love the way that skin shines through it, but it still gives a lot more coverage. Then for the days when you just kind of want to like throw on some makeup, it evens everything everything out makes your skin look beautiful, dewy and glowy and fabulous and it has SPF 20 in it. They can't put it on the bottle in Canada um, but it is in there as well as it has some amazing skincare ingredients in it that help actually make your complexion more even over time which is absolutely crazy. So these are honestly like my holy grail complexion products. I use this every single day. I've had it for about four months and it's you know, kind of getting a little bit empty, but not anywhere near like, okay, I need to replace it. Then, you know, these guys, I alternate between how I want to look that day. A little bit more coverage, but still doing glowy. A little bit less coverage, but nice and even. So, oh my gosh, investigate these products. They also have the sheer matte if you do have an oilier skin. So, those would be my top foundation products just in general. And then, in the first category of my top five NARS, um, those are my favorites. I also love their loose powder, which I talked about in another video, so I don't kind of want to get too much into that right now. So the next thing that I usually do is my cheeks. So I love NARS blushes. I have quite a few of them, um, and I just... I love them. I have the blush palette that Sephora put out last year with, that has all the blushes. And then I have some NARS blushes as well. Um, Orgasm is my favorite blush, for sure, um, from NARS. And I like Sin equally as much. I would say that they're both about the same. I love the way these blushes blend into the skin. I love the way that they, you know, just... Oh, they're so nice. They wear really nicely. They have a lot of pigment to them, but they're not like crazy pigmented where you have to like really work to blend them. Um, and they're absolutely amazing. And Orgasm is actually the number one selling blush um, in Sephora, which is really cool. So, who knew? Um, and then I love the multiples. So within my cheat category, the multiples are definitely... Um, I love them. And my favorite one is Portofino. So it's really similar to Orgasm, but it's a little bit more pink. It has um, just kind of like a little more pinky orangeness to it. And I just, I love these. They blend out so easily. Like I just kind of touch it and blend it out. And then you can put blush over top of it if you want or not. Like today I'm just wearing Portofino just on its own. And I like how subtle it is. I like that. Um, you know, it's not like a whole ton of blush, and then if you put a pop over top of it, maybe it would give you a little bit more. So those are my favorite kind of blush products. I love Laguna Bronzer as well, but it's been talked about so much that I don't feel like I need to talk about it. Um, and then for the eyes. So I love NARS eyeshadows. I don't really like the matte NARS eyeshadows as much, just because I find that they're a little bit chalky and hard to blend which is so disappointing because I've got some beautiful colors. These are my two favorite NARS eyeshadows. Um, this one is Erudis. Erudis? I don't know. And this one is Habanera. So what I love about them is that the color combinations are so 
unique and they're so pigmented like look at the pigment just from touching those they're amazing um, and they're just so unique like they're such unique color combinations that maybe you wouldn't normally think to put together and I think sometimes when you can build your own palettes you forget about the unique and fun color combinations and that's why I love some of the NARS shadows because they have those really fun color combinations can I say that one more time please um, and then along with those I absolutely love the soft touch shadow pencils so I have found a way to use these that work really well Goddess, for me. Goddess Calabria Heat and Hollywoodland and I this one is from the Andy Warhol collection which was absolutely amazing and I found a way to use them I just kind of rub them lightly on my finger and then press it right on the eyelid so that they don't crease for me. If you put a whole bunch on yeah, they're going to crease because they are a creamy formula, but I found them to work really well for me, and I put on the NARS base with a little bit of this. The eyeshadow just pops on top of it, and then you've got, like, this beautiful, like, pop of color, or I'll just wear this, like, as a little bit of liner underneath, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, the one thing I haven't tried from NARS is their mascara, so I can't really comment on that, but I would love to know what you guys think down below in the comment sections. I love getting comments, so it's one of my favorite things. So if you're ever around, please comment. Um, and then for lips, I love NARS lip glosses. I love the larger than life lip glosses. So I have two here to show you. Um, this one was from the uh, Andy Warhol collection, and this one is Norma, which I used in my Marilyn video. And this one is called Penny Arcade, this one, and it's beautiful. So I actually used this one in a smoky eye video that I just did, so that should be posted. I don't know if it'll be posted before or after this, though. Um, and then the regular NARS glosses are absolutely amazing as well. This one looks black. It's actually like a really dark purple. I think it's been discontinued, but it's like this vampy, gorgeous, kind of like purpley fabulousness, and I love it. And then this one is Ophelia, nope, Chihuahua, I'm a big liar, and Chihuahua is like the perfect nude for me. I know it looks really pink, but I can't wear like nudes because just of my complexion I just look dead, so this is like the perfect nude for me. A lot of people don't like the way these glosses like taste and smell, they're not great, um, they don't really taste or smell like anything, but they kind of are a little gross I guess I don't know um, but they don't bother me whatsoever so I kind of categorized by like complexion eyes cheeks lips so I hope that you enjoyed that and also know that I am so obsessed with NARS it's actually like ridiculous um, and I have hauled a lot of NARS oh my gosh my number one favorite NARS product the NARS smudge proof base this is like the best eyeshadow primer that I've ever used. So I love it, I love it, I love it. My only qualm with it is that if you don't kind of blend the edges out, it gets like this little white ridge, which is kind of weird. So just really make sure that you blend it out. Anyways, I hope that you found that somewhat informative or got some new products that you can try from NARS or love NARS as much as me. Let me know and we will see you again soon. Bye!